Hi, I'm Brantley with EnviroHealth. How you doing? You can't really answer that, never mind. So today, I want to talk about VOCs. What are VOCs? Where are VOCs? Are they a health concern? And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of these things. So, let's start with what are VOCs? Well, VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compound. So what does volatile mean? That's really the key word in this. Well, volatile is something that will vaporize if enough energy is, uh, is available. So let's go in a little bit more detail so you have a deeper understanding of this. So when you're looking at a, something that's in a liquid state or something that's in a solid state, there are molecules that are bound together. Now, these molecules can escape if there's enough energy into the air. Uh, now, when we're talking about things with high volatility, uh, these molecules can escape with low energy, usually at room temperature, and that's how you get off-gassing. So it's very similar to the process of water evaporating, but uh, we don't really call it evaporating. We typically call it off-gassing. Now, does that mean every content that has VOCs in it is off-gassing into the air? Well, maybe not. Um, there, it's, you know, there are some high VOC materials that really don't off-gas that much. But then again, there are some low VOC materials and they off-gas the majority of their VOCs. So it really just depends. Now, some of these chemicals, they can escape uh, from the surface more easily than others. And, and that's how we, uh, basically that just means they're more volatile. Now, you have to remember too, there's over 10,000 VOCs. So there's a lot of these VOCs uh, and really this is the best way to group them together, but they're all very, very different. And uh, another thing that's important to note is not all VOCs are harmful. You know, if I leave an orange peel sitting on the counter, while it's rotting, it's going to be emitting these VOCs. It's going to be off-gassing these VOCs, but that doesn't really mean that they're harmful. Uh, now, where are they? Well, do this. You just looked at a few dozen of them. They're everywhere. You can't really avoid them, uh, but you can do things in your house to minimize them. Now, to first do that, we have to look at where they're coming from. Well, like I said, everywhere, they're coming from the paints, varnishes, cooking in your home. They're coming from cleaners, um, air fresheners, ironically, building materials, carpets, furniture, uh, personal care products, even your trash in your kitchen is probably off-gassing some VOCs with everything in there rotting away. So they really are everywhere. Uh, and like I said, not all of them are actually a health concern. However, there are some few common ones that we see in homes that are a health concern. One of them being formaldehyde. Formaldehyde's chemical compound is HCHO. And it's a very simple compound. It's hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Now because of this, um, it's very inexpensive to uh, manufacture. So formaldehyde is in a lot of things. Uh, it's used as adhesives. Um, these adhesives are in building materials and such. Uh, it's used in a lot of the stuff that we just talked about. Um, your sheathing in your wall, plywood, OSB board. And the thing about formaldehyde is we know it's a carcinogen and it has a lot of acute effects too, um, and adverse health effects like you know, itchy throat, rashes, itchy eyes, headache, shortness of breath, difficulty thinking, fatigue, all sorts of stuff can cause, um, I'm sorry, can come from uh, being exposed to high levels of formaldehyde or long exposures of it. So uh, what do we do when we go into a home? As indoor environmentalists, we're walking in and what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for new building materials. Did you just renovate? New furniture, new carpets, uh, change of behavior. You know, did you just suddenly get into the hobby of cooking? And now there's a lot of VOCs from cooking into the air and, and you're not running your vent properly. Um, did you change cleaning products? What cleaning products are you using? These are types of things that we typically look for to start with. And, um, there are some tests that could be performed to see exactly where these are coming from. There are handheld meters, but they really only tell us the total amount. You really need an indoor environmentalist to come in and take a professional sample. We can send it off and have it analyzed at a lab to see exactly what kind of VOCs we're dealing with. Now, 
In the future video, I'm gonna make uh, a list of things that you could do to reduce the amount of VOCs in your home. So if you like this video, go ahead and stick around. Um, I'll be uploading this one shortly after about reducing the VOCs. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Alrighty, have a good one.